Uh, hey guys, I'm going to be showing you this new application that came out today. For right now, it's only for Mac. Um, when it's updated for Windows, the link will still work. It brings you to the project homepage, so always the links there will be there. So you don't have to worry about the links being updated. I will change the title when Windows is compatible. And I'll have a little thing popping up right now saying it's compatible with Windows. For right now, it's not, unless you see that message I'm showing you. Um... Also, there, it's a brand new program, so there are a few glitches with it. I will be showing you what it might have in the future and the glitches with it. It is compatible with jailbroken. I'm not sure about non-jailbroken, but it probably is. Um, like I said before, it rearranges your apps, compatible with all the devices, all three iPhones and both iPods. And when the new iPod comes out, and if it's compatible, I'll have a message popping up saying that's compatible too. Um... It's basically, I'll give the link in the description, and it's called Movement. So you can hit OK. You can hit Read Apps when your device is plugged in. Um, if iTunes pops up, just click out of it. So here it is. You can rearrange your apps just by dragging it and all that. Very easy. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to change anymore. Um, all right. So when you're done, um, you can basically back up and all that. But first, let me show you the other things. You get add and minus pages with that, and you can also scroll through pages. And as you can see, it doesn't show you the full page. That is basically the one problem I found about this application. And see, it's, it's still there, it's just not showing it correctly. That's the only problem. I told the developer, hopefully, he fixes it. And yeah. So basically, you just click Write Apps. And um, you basically back up your springboard. I do not know how to use the backup. I'll be showing you a different way of backing it up much easier in a way that I actually know how to restore it. So I'm basically going to say no, but if you do, just click yes and click save. That's it. But I'm going to click no. And also, if you have five icon dock installed, you could also drag apps down here. If you don't have it installed, it just won't work. If you want a fifth one for it to work, you just install it with your iPhone on Cydia. It's called five icon dock. And then you could uh, drag things down here and all that. And, um, I'm basically going to the camera now so I can show you the next step, such as backing up with the application I'm talking to you about, and show you this actually works. Alright, so hey guys, as you can see, I did not yet, the icons have not yet switched because you need a respring or a reboot. But to back up your apps, you basically can install an application called Spring Back in Cydia, it's right there. Just launch it. You uh, click get it. Got it again. Okay. Basically, you just hit back up on the top up here. Get back up. And you basically hit um, hit back up home screen, I guess. And you click. If you want to give it a name? You can. If you don't, you don't have to. I'm gonna click no thanks right now. And there's the backup, so you just basically restore from that. I'll show you how to restore from that um, later. So now you're gonna have to respring your um, iPhone to see the changes that um, that um, movement has done. So I'm gonna respring it, or you could reboot if you have no way of respringing it. And now, as you can see, the apps have now been completely rearranged the way I did it with um, movement. And basically, to restore your um, your springboard, you're gonna go back to that application, spring back, and open it up. Click on spring back, and um, click on the um, backup, and then you hit restore. 
It's gonna respring itself. And there you go, everything's been backed up. And you should basically back it up before you even do anything with movement. Don't even touch movement before backing it up. Unless you don't care about the backup. But basically, yeah, this is how you could move your applications on your iPhone or iPod Touch using a Mac. And Windows may be compatible by the time you see this video in the future. And, um, see you guys later.